I certainly didn't see it on the radar. Um, I was asked a lot of questions at the breast cancer clinic and one of those questions, um, do you have cancer in your family? And as a result, I answered yes because I lost my mother six years prior um, to ovarian cancer. And they went, oh, well that's interesting because they were learning at that time that there is a connection between ovarian cancer and breast cancer. When you walk into a breast cancer waiting room as a man, everybody just naturally assumes that you're there to support your wife or your daughter or mother or something. And then they call your name and you feel every eye in the place looking at you. And you know, it took a number of years for me to get over that stigma and to realize that breast cancer isn't a woman's disease, actually it's a people's disease. And, and uh, the more we talk about it that way, the more likely it is for a man to get screened. So for the last 10 years, I've tried to change that dialogue and I've tried to bring the conversation about people with breast cancer and that way maybe, maybe we can uh, um, inspire a man to get checked or you know get screened or maybe we can find early detection and save somebody's life. A Real Men Wear Pink was invented by the American Cancer Society and each of the making strides or most of them throughout the country have invited men to get involved with the Real Men Wear Pink and what this campaign is is men have committed to raising at least twenty five hundred dollars to reach out to the community to talk about breast cancer early detection and to, and this is kind of the fun side of it, to wear pink through the month of Pinktober to uh, help raise awareness. And you know, somebody's gonna say, hey, why are you wearing pink? Or what's up with the pink shirt? And it's an opportunity for us to talk about breast cancer awareness. Early detection saves lives. Any chance the cancer has to necessitize or spread through the body, the chances of recovery uh, diminish. And so if we can get people talking about breast cancer and aware that it can affect anybody, and so they can get screened early on, early detection will save lives. Family Matters invites you to the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. Go to the Family Matters section at katu.com to register and donate. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters.